got a lot of saliva in my mouth right now, so it's not coming out just how I want it to, but What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how the song Holiday by Lil Nas X was made. Due to copyright issues, you guys already know, I can't put the full finished remake in this video. So if you wanna see the full finished beat, link in the description, it should be like the top link. Go check out my other video. And now let's jump right into this. All right guys, now this song was produced by Take A Day Trip, which is a duo producer group and Take Keith. We're at 152 BPM in FL Studio, and we're gonna start out with the bass for this song. I used a Nexus preset called Trance Bass Number 10. Three, two EQs on this. I threw on Wider, which is gonna provide some stereo separation in your headphones. And Fruity Flanges, which is gonna give a flanger sound. Next, let's jump into the kick, hat, and snare, all of which I'm guessing were probably produced by Tay Keith because he's more of a drum guy, whereas Day Trip's more of a, a melody type group, you know. For the kick, I have the BWB hard kick. It's playing this pattern and it's essentially following the 808. Just some sausage on there. The hi-hats, I got the shoddy red hat. I don't think this is perfect, guys. Don't hate in the comments, but it's close enough. We're playing pretty much just a two-step pattern here. Eighth notes with some 16th notes. Very typical take Keith pattern. Very little reverb, add a little texture to your sound. And then this EQ is just to match it more. And then the snare for this is the Hendrix World Tape Snare, I guess it's called. This is the exact snare, but that might not be the name. And this is just playing two and four. And no effects on that. Last thing is Lil Nas X or someone in the studio going whew, into the mic. So, you know, I had to recreate that. I already have a sample here of me doing it. Got a lot of saliva in my mouth right now, so it's not coming out just how I want it to, but I already got it pre-recorded. This is gonna pan from your left headphone to your right headphone. And it's gonna be about an 80% pan. Not 100%. This is what it's going to sound like with the beat on it too. Bringing us out of that intro and into the verse slash pre-chorus is going to be the Take Heath Day Trip combo tag. So you guys know Take Heath's tag. And you guys know Day Trip's tag. Let's put them together and have a baby. Obviously, it's a little choppy, so I throw on reverb, I throw on a limiter, a wider. This is all to make Day Trip's tag mesh better with uh, Take Heath's tag. There's no delay on this, but I added delay to make it sound cool. Take, 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 the tag. Take, 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 take. Next up, we got some bells in this song. It's really the only melody that's going on. It's an instrument called a celeste or celesta. I don't have that here. I'm, I imagine uh, Take A Day Trip probably had like some kind of keyboard in the studio that had a preset on it. Celeste is playing two patterns. It's playing chords, which is this. And then I threw on reverb, retro color, make it sound a little more vintage, add some wobble. EQ, that's just how I like it. A little wider, not too much. And then the second bells pattern is going to be the main melody that's playing. It has the same effects as the last Celeste. Here's that bell melody without any effects. Reverb, same as the usual. Retro color, add a little wobble. EQ. If you guys have never heard of Celeste before, it's basically a piano that instead of hitting strings, it hits bells or like little chimes within the piano. You know, some popular usages of the Celeste, I think the Harry Potter theme had it. And then I think it was also used in Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker Suite, probably a few of those songs. And last thing for this song, guys, 808. It's basically following the kick. So if you saw before, the kick is playing all of these notes here. Here's the 808 turned up so you guys can hear it. And then I just have an EQ on it. This makes some room for the kick, you know, cut out some of the highs and then boost the lows where the bass is really punching. And then this is the chorus of the song. The final product has every sound that we've seen so far. So 
So yeah, guys, that's like the whole video. That's the whole song. Um, let me know what you guys thought of this remake. Was it accurate? Was it inaccurate? Which song should I do next? Full finished beat in the description. I played on my MIDI. It's always a fun video to make. And I'll see you guys next time.